Welcome back to GDPG, everybody. Mm. Playing more of this war of mine. We are. Right. So we need a bed, we need a stove, and we need... Uh, that, that's it for right now, right? Correct. Okay, um, I'm going to make the stove first. No, I'm going to make the bed first. Yes. Have we searched the entire house? Has everything emptied out yet? Um, everything's been emptied out except what I have Pavel doing in the basement and what I have uh, uh, gotcha. doing in the upstairs. Okay. So this so is going to go... Oh, interesting. I'm going to put it down here because it's close to my manufactory and that's where I want people sleeping. That's probably fun. All right, so Pavel is busting that down. So if you don't build the stove, can you just not have food? Or does it prevent you from getting sick or things like that? Uh, no, you just can't make food. Uh, you can still eat stuff that you just like kind of find, mm. which is defined like this. Uh, but there, there are also cans that are more nutrition. These only count as half a meal. You can make full meals. Uh, brigands, for some reason, won't steal things that are on your stove. So there's kind of an exploit you can pull off there. That's a little weird. It is a little Super weird. Nice. I think it's a coding thing, which is okay. I mean, I assume you can't, like, keep a ton of food on top of the stove, so... Uh, you can. can keep as many... I've had as many as 16 on top of the stove. Oh, yes. okay. Yeah. Which is enough. a little bit of a design 16 flaw. 16 food is enough for four people for about two weeks. But if you have food on the stove, you can't make any more food until all the food on the stove is eaten. In, in winter, you can't oh, melt ice to make water. interesting. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so it's not totally broken, but it is, it is an exploit. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You could build a second stove. Some people do that. I don't. That's really, really, really frustrating. No, we will. Um, counter. <laughs> no, 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 no. Why would you put it in the kitchen? It's totally inefficient. I do. We, we you, you always kind of want to <laughs> place your stuff in a line. We, we call it the. Oh God, what do we call it? Assembly the, uh, line. the assembly line of human misery or something like that. <laughs> Uh, that sounds familiar. But yeah, you, you build your beds down at one end, and then you have people in the morning. I'll put my rainwater distillery right there, and I'll put something else, probably my vegetable garden, right here. And then you just have people, like, rapidly knock out tasks in the morning. You just make it as efficient as possible. Yeah, it makes perfect sense because you're cutting out all the movement that time. Their pile first. So then that makes me wonder, um, is there actually any point to the upper rooms? Uh, no, I think they're a trap. The upper rooms, <laughs> the first time I played, I was like, oh, I gotta put my rainwater distillery up high so that, like, rain can get to it. And then, like... You gotta I, put your stove in the kitchen because that's what normal Cause, people do yeah because that's where you'd eat if you had a stove huh. and just like oh no it's it's bad that's it's interesting bad. i would actually consider Wait, that a, a level design flaw i know it's sort of weird because it's not like it's a level but it's oh, not no i missed getting all the so stuff by just a little bit we're gonna have to have people on that in the morning and that's annoying all right so pavel is gonna scavenge katya is going to sleep and bruno is going to guard guards oh. prevent you. well i mean oh, it's the first night oh yeah that's right uh, sleeping in bed is restful. Sleeping not in a bed is not, but you can still do it. I'm not sure why. Um, hmm. I am going to search the abandoned cottage because I don't want to go to the quiet house. We're not going to the quiet house yet. No, <laughs> why is the quiet house always in everyone we do? Because it, it's there to make you sad. Uh, it's there as, oh. just from a design perspective, we need to go to the quiet house. Okay, okay. you know what? Awful. You know what? Yeah, we're going to go no, to the quiet house. No, come on, I'm not well, ready should, for this. Should we, should we start it off with it? No, no we maybe we should save no, it. We we're going to save, save it until we get desperate because that's what you do with the quiet house. <laughs> is the, we is, need is it just depressing or? at the abandoned cottage, right? Right, but we need to upgrade our advanced workshop the, first. But we need the crowbar. Wait, before we before we leave to scavenge, let's see how much we actually have. So, how much we're going to abandoned cottage, prepare. Yeah. So we can see how much we actually need. So we only have four components and seven, and seven wood. wood. That sucks. So we're just going to take components and, and wood back, right? So I'm not going to actually take the crowbar. I'll bust into places later because I'm going to need the... I, I need a saw blade <laughs> to get into stuff, right? I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Saw blades? Saw blades get you through like grates in doors and things. They're disposable, so you have to... All right, okay. so here is how scavenging works in this game. I click on a thing, my guy skulks over to it, he opens the pile. This is going to be the pile where I store everything. So I'm going to run through the whole level, collect all my stuff, and put it back in that thing like some kind of demented refugee Well, sport. I disagree with this first one. I think you should put it in the first room of the house. Whoa, okay, so are those my... little waves radiating off of you like sound? That's exactly yes. what they are. That's cool. So if we were in a location that happened that we knew had strangers in it, we would absolutely not run. But we, no. kn But because we've played this before, there's no one here. We're just going to run through the whole thing, make as much noise as we want, but in okay, a so lot they, of other locations, that is a really, really bad idea. They, they make it easier on you by yeah. taking away all the people in the first place. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, wood only stacks up to two, you'll notice. Components stack up to four. Some things stack up to ten. It all depends on what you're dealing with. Um, I believe I'm the only one here that's not colorblind. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So if you will... Uh, <laughs> You'll see sometimes on the screen, like right there, you see the little red radiating circles. Are they actually red? Yes. <laughs> 
that. Well, what, uh, what does the color represent? It signifies sound. So that's how you know that somebody's there. Like you can hear them. Oh, so and wait, they, why was that making sound then? Uh, there mouse. was there was a mouse there. See, he's right. You can oh. actually still see him. He's he's running around right there. <laughs> okay, but, well that's considerably that's sort of like a tutorial kind of thing where it's like, hey, there might be there's, something here. Yeah, something exactly. making noise. I will put it in the first room of the house because it's closer to the other uh, receptacles, not because it's closer to the entrance of the level. Mm. Correct. And then what time? So you basically are Until done 5 scavenging. Five a.m. Okay. So it goes from nine to five. Yeah. Now, can you leave early? Yes. Okay, yes. that's important because if there are people chasing you, <laughs> yeah, you yeah. gotta get you. There, need to... there have been. We've. I've made some poor... Tr the thing about this game is I tend to do better when I don't treat it like a game and when I treat it like it's real life. But Because when I start to treat it like it's a game and I start to break down the construct, I just die. I just die. Yep. There's just no... When you stop no, caring about your... Yeah. When you stop caring about your people. When you stop caring about them as people and start to only think of them as game characters, you lose because you start to think of them as expendable and you're like, oh, I'll just get more. But no, you won't. You won't get more. All right. So that, to me, that reads as sort of a deliberate choice from the, the, the designers of this yes. game. They want to make you care. Well, yeah. It, I mean, it's <clears throat> it's interesting because I feel like a lot of people that play games are very good at cutting off kind of human emotion yes. or like right. empathy with characters in Absolutely. games. And this one sort of turns that on its own head. Exactly, because every single resource matters. Um, there's a particular resource in this game, Electrical Parts. If you sell one, you're okay. But if you sell two, then you can't complete everything. You won't, oh. you won't complete everything. There was one of the games where we won. I think maybe we had two extra we electrical had two parts. two spare and we built everything. Yeah. And we built everything. And that and was... we never traded one and we'd gone to every location. Wow. That we could have. Um, it was... Never trade them. Never Don't sell them. Don't do it. So is there an end to the game? Yes. Yes. The war, the war yes. does eventually end, and oh. you can survive. And you can get a good ending, but you can also get a bad ending. We got a bad ending for a guy once who, like, we, we used him a lot, and he was very, very useful for us, and he gathered us many useful supplies. But we made him kill people because he ran into people, and he was really powerful with his fists. So we'd be oh, like, yeah, no. beat that guy to death. Beat that guy to death. Take his <laughs> rifle. Take his rifle. Beat him to death. And he would. And he would do it. And then he would be sad for days on end, and we couldn't think of any way to fix him. And then one day, he wandered off into a snowstorm. Oh, my God. Yeah, it gets, yeah. <laughs> yeah, shit goes down I mean, in this game. we won. We did technically win. Yeah. Um, what I like is that rooms that are closed and unvisited uh, are darkened. You can zoom in if you like. That aesthetic you were talking about with like the, the lines, mm -hmm. how it determines that is like a dark room has one layer of lines over it. A, a darker room oh, than that has yeah. two layers, and then the darkest rooms have four. Kind of like Yeah, and so then when you can it? see into places, what they do is they just strip off one layer of that line art. I, I actually, cool. I, I really like it too because I think that that alone, like, perfectly sets the tone of the game mm -hmm. um, because like we I've seen plenty of grayscale games right and it's you know they're all moody in their own ways um, but it's it's kind of this like that shadow effect that really gives the game kind of its unique flair mm. and, and it's just an aesthetic thing right but I don't know I think it reads perfectly for this game I agree okay here we go Duh. yeah we need That's, a crowbar for yeah. this I already wrote that down yep um, there are also these areas yep. you can, yeah, on the first day they robbed us, two days later they murdered our girls, I shot every one of them, but I don't want to use the gun anymore, it's broken and buried in the backyard, if you're reading this, don't look for me. <laughs> <laughs> and so now, when we go into the backyard, which I'll do after I search this pile, I'm going to pull back a bit, I'm just going to grab all of that, I'm going to hit my pile on the way out. We still have about two hours. Yeah, I've got plenty of time. So, uh, so how big do these buildings get? Incredibly large. The really? warehouse, the warehouse took me six nights to empty. Oh my god! That was after I murdered the half a dozen bandits that were uh, guarding <laughs> I the it was place. Soldiers. Uh, no, it's bandits at the warehouse. Oh, okay. Uh, it's soldiers at the. Oh, the military. Outpost. The military base has mm. soldiers, and there are eight of them, and so, they're way better armed. We just kind of skipped through that, but based on the note that he had read the little piece of lore. Right. It's why it's important to read those little magnifying glasses. It's very easy for somebody who's playing a survival game to just sit past it like, don't have the time, gotta go. But Especially the game gets you in that like fast paced exactly. mode. But because we took the time, it was like, hey, here's the secret place. And so we went back to a spot that we had already searched mm -hmm. and it gave us 
pieces to then make a gun. So my question is, does, does the clock tick yes. while you're reading? Yes. Oh. So, uh, <laughs> That's so mean. So get oh, yeah. this. This it's is where we're at right now. I have searched every receptacle that I can search. I have entered every room that I can enter. Yes. Uh, we've, I've got everything except for the two places that I need the crowbar, which is the room. I need it to get in the door, and then I need the crowbar again to get inside that locked cabinet. So, we don't so need here's what I have uh, available to me to take home. I have coffee. I have tobacco, which is homegrown. I have uh, roll-up cigarettes. I have four raw food, five raw food, actually, two vegetables. Four bullet casings, um, a lot of components, uh, a bunch of mechanical parts, five of them, uh, 11 water, 17 sugar, three weapon parts, which are used to make knives, guns, uh, assault rifles. Um, I want to say they're used to make saw blades. They're used oh, yeah. to make a lot of things. Hmm. Uh, wood, gunpowder, electrical parts, which are very valuable, but never sell them. I have a broken pistol that I can fix with some components and three weapon parts. Nice. I have also a book, which is important to keep your people sane, because they will start to crack on you. So, what do I need to take back with me? What do we need for everything? I need just, like, buttloads of this, I know. Because we only had seven components. I need all the food that I can take back with me. Correct. Um, um, I have one back at the house, and it takes... One and one. It's one and one to make two. So you know what? Actually, I'm only going to take one food back with me. Because I have okay. one back at the house. Sure. I might as well just take the food. No, don't, back. because then it's going to get stolen. Just don't even bother. Yeah, you're right. It is Until we can build a gun, it's going to get stolen. But as soon exactly. as I can build a gun, it'll never get stolen mm -hmm. again. Oh, interesting. So the plan is, as soon as we get back, we'll make that food on the stove. And then because it's cooked on the stove, it won't get stolen. Precisely. We won't have to worry uh, about but it. But I do need water if I'm going to do that. But so. if we take back that... I think if we need to drop one component yeah. and grab another and grab two more. I don't even know if we need to take the water because we'll just make we're gonna make the water refinery. It, no, we're not gonna make the water refinery for a couple of days, and we've you got. You don't think so? No, I don't think so. I think it'll be all okay. Right. We'll be all right without it. Sure. Um, but then I'm just gonna run to the exit. Yep. I assume you can get like bigger backpacks nope. or. Nope. No. So characters, different characters. Oh, so are there? Is there a character that can hold, what, like, 17. four rows of... Not that much. 17, 17 is, is the it's, highest. It's three rows and then one. So, yeah, he can oh. hold up to that. Uh, that Marco guy is that the other guy. That's a 15. Yep. He's the solo playthrough because he's got a special ability that lets him scavenge more stuff whenever he opens, like, a scavenging portal. Um, all right, so here's what I brought back. We weren't uh, robbed during the night. Nothing bad happened. We're okay. Um, so he is hungry and tired. So I'm going to have him go ahead and go to... Oh, no, she's Katya sick. is... Katya's sick? What? Yeah, she started slightly sick. All right, he is hungry and tired as well. I'm going to have him go ahead and just make food. Because he's a good cook, he uses less material. Yes. Ah. I do have to make some fuel first. So I'm going to go ahead and make... All right, so in order to make two of that, I need two fuel. So I'm going to make two fuel out of wood. Pavel, my good friend, I need you to make things for me. I know, I'm sorry, I know you're tired. Yeah, see, we can make the water refinery right now. Make yourself a bed. Well, now we can't. Should I put him on the ground floor as well? I should. Oh, we're not going to have enough room to put everything in there, I know. It'll be okay. I'll put the water refinery there. I'll put the vegetable garden over there like we always do. I'll put the traps down there like we always do. It'll yeah. be okay. Because traps go in the spooky basement. They do. Traps go in the spooky basement. <laughs> Do, do people, or are the traps just for catching mice or, or rats? Uh, yes. They do, in fact, catch uh, those, and then they, they just sort of randomly make meat. <laughs> <laughs> meat machine. Yes, that's exactly meat what machine. it is. So you make two or three of them, and then you just, like, live off the meat. Or you can do what I'm about to do, which is... Why um, did you take back? I didn't. I, uh, I don't know what happened there. I took back two food by mistake. That must have been it. Oh, well. All right, so I'm going to make that. It's going to cost me two vegetables, ten water. Uh, I think it would cost anyone else uh, 12 water or something like that. And it costs twice as much fuel when they try to do it. So he's tired, so I'm putting him to bed. Uh, Katya is, she is slightly sick and recovering. Um, it likely means that she won't recover until the end of the day. Uh, just, it's fine. What, what effect does that have on the character? She moves slower. She accomplishes tasks slower. It can progress to properly ill, which can then progress to diseased, which can then progress to d dead, d dead, dead. Can they get your other people sick? Uh, I don't know if that's a factor. Hmm. Um, he is only hungry, so I'm going to wait. I mean, I guess I could feed him. What do you think? No, screw that. We never feed him. No, we never feed him. <laughs> no, why would we start now? They, they suffer We're fewer not adverse effects. Uh, you wait until they get very hungry, and then yes. you feed them. Um, it just it works better. And I am going to build a radio. Yes, I think now's the time. Uh, you always want to build a radio relatively soon, because sometimes you get really important updates. Like, like for instance, um, 
you know, uh, the the bandits are coming. Don't leave your doors unlocked. Like that's an important thing. <laughs> oh, and then after this, I'll have him run with the uh, with the crowbar yeah, and just get all that stuff. Oh, we're probably gonna get a trader today or tomorrow. Uh, probably tomorrow. Day he usually comes on day three. The trader tends to rip you off unless you have Katya in the party, and then he likes Katya. Because oh, um, Ka Katya's a pretty girl. You know, whatever. I'm sure that's it. <laughs> She knows how to talk to people. I'm sure it's got nothing to do with her long journalistic career, you sexist. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I am going to listen to the radio because this is this is okay. one of the cooler things about the game that I didn't realize until we'd done three or four playthroughs. Oh, yeah. So we, we, we pop open the radio. It tells us that the rebel leader has instructed us to not cross the front line. Failure to comply could result in death. So now I'm going to go ahead and look for other radio stations. Oh, uh, I didn't know that was a thing. So I find this one, which is... Radio 1, it says, despite desperate counterattacks by the rebels trying to lift the siege, the city remains cut off. Government forces are not allowing any aid to reach it, claiming it would end up in rebel hands. Sound familiar? I'm going to go ahead and change the radio station yet again, and this time I'm going to listen to oh, a little I bit of music. Oh, I hate the rock station. The rock station <laughs> this isn't, sucks. This isn't the radio. The yes, rock station. Is. Yes, it is. Oh, is it? Yes. Well, I thought it was the classical. Oh, no, no classic it's the classical. Is, is classical this, is this one? one. Right, yeah, classical masterpieces. That decreases people's stress. <laughs> they like to listen That's to classical. Awesome. And actually, yeah. if you leave it on, it replaces the game's default yeah. background music. <laughs> we weren't lying when we said we played this game a lot. Yeah, like, there's, a lot. there's a lot to this game. <laughs> well, cool. Should we uh, save the next stuff for the following uh, episode? Pretty much, yeah. Open. I'm just going to break open a couple of things, uh, and then after that, I'm just going to have my people rest until they're back up, and then I have nothing else to do. I will take a moment, and I will decide what to build the following day, which yeah, will tell me what I need to, to do. Here. So there's a little bit of bookkeeping, but we'll catch up uh, at the start of the scavenging session at the end of this day. Cool. See you in the archives. See you in the archives. Thanks, Thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, Bruno blinked. I told you. Yeah. <laughs> Down there. Yeah. It like... Still works. It's just so unsettling. So unsettling. Wait until someone dies. Oh, God. Does their body decay on there? No. You don't know.